Hi guys, um, today we're going to be playing with some slime. Now I didn't necessarily make this at home, I made it um, at the slime bar. It's where you could play slime, you can make slime video games, you could, there's like snacks and all kinds of stuff. So, um, let's go. Get our tins. Now, as you can see, the, thing, the kind of thing kind of um the kind of slime I make is crunchy slime. As you could see it has balls, little it has little balls. Let's see is that? And it has these blue glitters. It's not that stretchy. Only if you need it like this. That and then it was and then it was stretched. See that? Ooh. And it doesn't it has a really good texture. Now I have a little bit of my friends because my friend came with me, so lots of. I already felt it. Hers makes so much noise. It stretches. But this one can't stretch. This little piece can't stretch. As you can see, hers it has some little beads in it. See that little one? It has some little balls, like the, these little balls, but smaller, and it has this foil in it, as you could see up close, mm -hmm. and it came with a little container. I got it stuck, I oh, know, I got some of it stuck, but it's okay. So that it's so cute that they come with a little container. Now, um, so a few a few years later, I'm gonna be doing another video. So stay tuned to part two. But I'm not ending the video yet. I still have some things to go. Through. So when you're making slime, you wanna make sure you have the right texture. Once you make it and you're done with it, you want you want to have the right amount of borax glue and activator. Activator is the important part. As you can see, I have enough activator. We added actually a little too much activator. That's why it's kind of like, ooh, a little ball fell. Put it in the container. Container right here. Um, So, yeah, you want to have the perfect amount of activator. The person who was, who was like, adding the activator, like, put, I think, put too much. Sorry, just fixing my camera. Okay. 